This is Mark Belton, supertraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. We have a bench session here for you. You're going to see a couple people in their bench shirts. This is Janet Lavelle getting ready to uh, hit some benches in her bench shirt. She's been out of her shirt for a while, so it's important as a uh, power lifter. I see too many power lifters getting out of their power lifting gear. Um, Geared lifters, that is, getting out of their powerlifting gear for too long of a period of time. It's never a good idea to uh, get too far away from any one thing that you are asked to do on the platform, whether it be a free squat or whatever the case may be. Um, if you're a raw lifter, uh, it would be a mistake to only train off a box. It would be a mistake to only train with bands. It would be a mistake to only train with chains. You're going to have to get used to what you're asked to do on game day at some point. Here's Kara Weston hitting up some benches off a two board. She's been making some pretty good improvements in her bench press. About uh, a year ago, she came off a really uh, terrible injury. She has some horses and she got thrown off her horse and uh, she's been uh, trying to rebuild that bench press ever since. She's Janet now, going a little heavier. So she's got around 300 pounds or three, that was 335. Here's my chubby little self. I got a little bit of a shoulder twingy thing going on, so uh, I'm trying to avoid that very bottom of the bench press for now, and that's why I'm going off the man poon. There's Kara banging out 275 off two board. Again, the boards are um, mentioned it many times before, but it's just a partial range of motion. Um, the partial range of motion can allow you to overload, but also in your bench shirt, it gives you a target. Um, it's hard to do full range of motion work in your bench shirt. And that's a great reason uh, why I invented the uh, slingshot, is that the slingshot allows you to do full range of motion work and overload at the same time. Good press there by Janet. Going up in weight here a little bit, I think this is around 460, 470, somewhere in there. Can't really remember. Um, Strength is coming back on the uh, on the bench, even though I lost a bunch of weight. Um, body weight's between like 250 and 255, or maybe 252 to 258, somewhere in there. Um, see how the elbows are coming in and then flaring back out there by Kara. That's a, that's a, that's the way you want to bench press in and out of your bench shirt. Here's Janet. Now we have her going with some repetitions here. Um, and you can see that her elbows don't come in quite enough. It's a big thing with her. And now as she's doing the repetitions, they're starting to come in because she's getting tired. She also likes to bench really high up towards your face. You need to bench down more towards your belt. Uh, but it's just a comfort thing for her. She's more comfortable down in that zone. I advise anybody that's uh, doing any sort of uh, bench press training, um, you know, it's, a good it's good to go heavy. Uh, but then once you're done going heavy, cut the weight down, and bang out some reps, get in some more work. If your plan is to do a max triple or a max set of five or a max single, the reps are fairly low, switch it up and, uh, you know, do a heavy set of 10 or three sets of 10 or um, three sets of 10 with a close grip or something along those lines. I believe this is around 515 now with the slang shot on from howmuchyourbench.net. <clears throat> Went pretty smooth. Should be smoother than that, but uh, like I said, coming off some injuries, lost a bunch of weight. Let me see. Uh, my dog ate my bench press. Uh, not sure what other excuses I have. Here's Mr. Pants, Mr. Robot Pants, who needs no introduction really anymore. <clears throat> he and I have been doing a lot of uh, rep work on the bench press, um, and I feel that it's been helping, especially with the loss of body weight. That extra volume seems to be helping. There's Kara getting in two reps with uh, 285, 295, 300. She got in two reps there with it. Third rep didn't go so good. But yeah, a lot of us have been working a little bit more on repetitions. Um, I've been using boards and not using boards. Uh, from one week to the next, sometimes I'll, just about every other week I'll go boards and no boards. I'm not really concerned about um, touching when I don't use boards. I just go as far as I can. Now I'm starting to kind of toy around with some different shirts. I don't have much that fits me right now at this point. So 
just trying to find the best option. So there I am in an overkill. You'll see me switch back to my Rage X in a little bit. But that Rage X is like three or four years old. It's kind of beat up. Um, I tell people all the time that, uh, you know, it's, it's all about how your shirt fits and what you're comfortable with. Uh, I'm trying not to get too caught up in the brands. I do think Overkill makes some outstanding uh, power to think here. They make some really strong stuff. Um, but also, you know, Inzer has that track record. They've been around for a long time. They also make some quality products as well. And here's uh, Mr. Robot going with a Phenom. Just trying to give you guys the most honest opinion I can of some of this stuff. Even though I am an sponsored by Overkill. Uh, the Phenom shirt is a stretchier shirt for those of you that's looking for something that uh, is a little more forgiving. Now the lockout's getting a little hard. And there I am shirtless. I don't really know what happened, but uh, my clothes came off. I got excited. But the advantage of the Phenom shirt is that it's stress stretchy. The disadvantage of the Phenom shirt is that it's stretchy. <laughs> so, uh, you kind of pick your poison there, you know, you're supposed to be able to move in it faster, um, but because it doesn't lock up quite as much, you might may not get as much pop from it, but uh, the big boys, they know how to use it, and they're uh, benching some huge weights, and there's, I don't know why Robot was in a boa, but uh, he was excited too, maybe he was inspired by my shirtless spotting. There's Tristan Shaw with a great spot, I mean, you got to give this guy credit, camo hat, looks fantastic. Now I'm starting to get some heavier weights on there. Nothing mind-boggling. I can't remember what the weights were on this day. Um, but they are, let's just say that they are far off from uh, my previous self. But I will get back there. Mark my words. You'll see. You'll all see. I don't know if I'll get back to 854, but I'll get back up over 800 to have benched 800 in four different weight classes. You can bet your ass on that. So here we go. Off a three board again, trying to cheat. Really trying to hammer that lockout. It's been something I've been struggling with, so I'm trying to even hold the weights at the top a little bit. It's hard for my guys that spot me because they can't tell when I'm finished. It looks like I'm finished there, but I'm still pushing upward. And here goes my uh, last attempt. Um, I kind of bench in like a three-stage thing, especially as I go lower off of the lower boards. And here's the last heavy bench of the day. Finish this day up with a bunch of foo-foo assistance stuff, and that is it from supertraining.tv.